Welcome back to Moose on the Loose. My name's David. Today we've got Pierre Polyev at a gas station. He's asked about Justin Trudeau's carbon tax and basically kind of pointing the finger at people with big trucks, whether he thinks they're they're criminals for having big trucks. And Pierre Polyev's answer is amazing. He absolutely rips Justin Trudeau. He just shreds him to bits. This is what we need in a prime minister. Let's check it out. Uh, we live in a time where the expression climate criminal is used to make the folks uh, driving their big trucks and cars behind you feel guilty and feel responsible for destroying the planet. What do you have to say to average Canadians who have to drive their cars, they have to drive their trucks, or God forbid, work in the extractive industries uh, such as uh, fossil fuel and mining? Well, I think people who use that kind of incendiary language are just uh, trying to uh, intimidate taxpayers into taking more of their money you know I we see this kind of really radical extreme and wacko language from the Trudeau Liberals where they attack people for driving automobiles they say they want to ban roads uh, Catherine McKenna I think said that anyone who's against her carbon tax is an arsonist uh, so that's just an attempt to take more of your money and make you feel bad for wanting to to uh, to oppose them, uh, and quite frankly, the people you see driving up these streets in, in pickup trucks, these are the plumbers that are clearing the pipes when your uh, when your bathroom breaks at home. These are the people that are building the homes that you hope to live in one day. These are the people who fix the uh, electrical outage uh, when the lights go out. Uh, these are the working people who've been, frankly, screwed over by Trudeau and the NDP and the radical, uh, wacko agenda <laughs> that they've imposed on them. Meanwhile, Trudeau and the NDP have no problem importing more products made by coal-burning dictatorships like China, which is responsible for the largest emissions of any country on planet Earth. They want to bring in more oil and gas from other foreign dictatorships. And they, at the same time, want to put our workers out of a job. Uh, this is disgraceful. It's time somebody stood up for our workers, our customers, and our families. And that's what I'm going to do. We will axe the tax. We will green light big resource projects to bring home production to the most environmentally responsible country on Earth. We will liquefy gas and send it over to Asia to shut down coal fire plants there, thereby reducing global emissions and replacing dirty foreign energy with clean Canadian energy. That is the right thing to do. It is the patriotic thing to do. Now, let's bring it home. Well said, Pierre Polyev. A few things to touch on here, Pierre Polyev said. First off, China, dirty dictatorship, dirty energy. China is increasing their coal-fired uh, plant production. They're, they're firing up more plants, and I've showed numerous graphs of this in previous videos. China's increase in coal production is wiping out all of Canada's green energy, eco, climate change savings. Just, the, just their increases, let alone actually reducing their emissions. They're not. They're increasing their emissions. The only way to deal with this climate change issue, if this is the hill that Trudeau wants to die on, is to get China's emissions down. And that should be at any way that we can help, whether that's be selling more natural gas to them so they're not firing up more coal plants, among many other ways. The fact that Trudeau keeps going after the guys with the pickup trucks, these are the guys that keep our society running. Trudeau should not be demonizing these people. He should not be going after them. He should be praising them. He should be dropping to his knees and thanking them. These are the people that are up in the power Power lines when the lightning strikes when there's wind storms and nobody has power and these are people out there at 10 p.m. in the freezing cold in the rain in the snow hooking up power lines fixing it so society can run these are the guys down in the sewers digging through God knows what to get the, the, the system flowing again fixing the backups the guys who cleaning out water pipes the mains that are broken underneath the cities these are the guys pouring the concrete digging the ditches cleaning out the garbage, the broken waste, fixing the pipes, building the homes, going after people with pickup trucks 
are is like going after the hand that feeds you. Justin Trudeau is an absolute idiot. He's a hypocrite and a loser. And he's never worked a day in his life. That's why he doesn't understand this. He has no respect for a society. He has no respect for hard work. He doesn't have respect for people who work hard. Anyways, that's all I got for this one here. I just want to show this clip of Pierre Polyev. I thought it was a great take. He really just set it out straight to the point, standing in front of this uh, $2 per liter gas station here somewhere in BC. So thanks for watching the end of the video here. Be sure to subscribe here on my extra channel where I bring up other clips here and other things I find, test out some different content, all that good stuff. So be sure to ring the notification bell here. It brings good luck. We need a lot of good luck right now. We'll keep fighting for freedom. I'll see you guys in the next one.